there guys and welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited about the topic of today's video which is human design generators in business and i know that a lot of entrepreneurs generators are watching my uh, channel so i'm sure you will find this video really valuable so this is what we're going to cover today uh, how to choose a niche as a generator, how to structure your lifestyle and your business, what to focus on, what to prioritize, also what not to do. And last but not least, I'll give you my top seven tips for generators in a business, which will be based on my experience working with generator clients, on my personal experience. Uh, also, if some of the tips that I'm going to share with you, you don't really find um, maybe applicable you think that okay it's not about me then i strongly want to encourage you to question whether you are uh, living your design whether you are not deeply conditioned to run your business as a manifester for example uh, and uh, make sure that um, you know uh, your nature and you're not living against it all right so my first tip for you is to uh, make sure you build your business around those products, services, uh, processes, and business models that light you up and bring you satisfaction. Uh, generators, you have to remember that one of the most important energy centers in your body graph, in your body, is sacral. And if you know the functionality and the purpose of the sacral energy center, you, you would know that it's all about uh, transmitting and producing that energy of joy and satisfaction. It's all about creativity. It's all about the flow state. And basically, the more you are... Mm, the more satisfaction you are feeling, the more magnetic you are to the right opportunities, to the right people, to the right clients. Uh, and I know that a lot of generators simply kind of disregard this or maybe they don't mm, put enough meaning to uh, that feeling of joy and satisfaction. So they start pursuing business activities, for example, that are just profitable or um, everyone else is telling you to, for example, build a business around affiliate marketing or, I don't know, selling a specific product, but you don't feel passionate about it. It's just the latest trend, but your sacral doesn't react in any way, shape or form to that. Um, this is like a, the qu a quick way to frustration burn out. And you know that there is nothing worse than that for a generator uh, and if you think that this is a cliche uh, just do what you love I really want to disagree with you and here is how you can ensure that you build your business around uh, those amazing feelings of joy and satisfaction and so one of the things that you can do is um, to uh, revise or admin everything that you do in your business. So what you can do, you can make a list of all the aspects of your business, starting with your product uh, and service, with the marketing uh, activities that you pursue, um, the systems that you're using, the platforms uh, you use to promote yourself and really ask yourself, is there anything in that list, any of those activities that you do that is causing you of sabotage, frustration, or uh, resistance. Is there is there any element of forceful energy when you have to really force yourself, you have to overcome yourself and implement an enormous amount of effort to actually start doing something? And if there is something in that list that causes you frustration, I want to encourage you to revise that and actually ask yourself whether there is anything you can do to tweak your strategy, to change your approach, to simplify, uh, quite whether those things are absolutely mandatory and if yes what is a better way a more um, effective and uh, mm, uh, I would say a more satisfying way of doing that and a good example of that is me hating to uh, use uh, Instagram stories consistently and probably every marketer will tell you that you have to post consistently but you know what if you if those things are causing you frustration the story is not about you especially if you have an open heart center that kind of tells you that being consistent and using your willpower is not always um, the right thing for you to achieve your goals you have some other things that you can take advantage of uh, to achieve the desired outcome so really register um, um, admin and register all those things that really are causing you resistance and try to eliminate them from your day-to-day -day life. 
Okay guys, and before I uh, get to my next tip, I would like to make a quick announcement. Um, very soon I'll be holding a masterclass specifically for generators and manifesting generators who will, who will go through the most frequently asked questions uh, by um, uh, sacral beings. Uh, and uh, some of them will be strategy to respond in business. How do you actually uh, use it? Because uh, you all know that you had to respond, but I know a lot of generators are very confused on how to respond in business also the misconception about initiating uh, how do you know when you are initiating and when you are not uh, how to use your sacral authority in business uh, for those who have sacral how to use emotional authority how to get rid of procrastination resistance overthinking and uh, um, what are the most common issues for generators the low level of motivation um, low satisfaction how to change that with some uh, more advanced uh, advice on that and uh, the most important how to manifest great results and great opportunities in business how to attract the, the right clients when you are a generator or a manifesting generator so if you're interested to participate in this masterclass, um, uh, check the link uh, uh, below this video where I explain all the details and uh, the price for that is quite symbolic uh, based on the logic that when you pay uh, the minimum price, um, you're more committed to attend because uh, you treat it more seriously. So I invite you guys to this masterclass because I know it will be mind blowing. All right, let's move to my next tip, which is to stop taking advice from other people about your business and uh, start honoring your own authority. Uh, I know it's quite controversial because uh, you know how many online coaches um, are around you, business gurus, people who tell you how to uh, transform your business, how to make it successful, but guess what? All of those people all of those coaches and gurus have a completely different design. Some of them are manifestors, meaning they have a completely different strategy uh, of achieving uh, uh, results. And uh, you are not them. You have your own unique set of superpowers uh, of your strengths and your own manifestation strategy, your own way of succeeding. And um, I have, uh, I can't even tell you how many, um, how much advice I have taken from those um, coaches. I've invested a lot in uh, different um, business courses and uh, no surprise that none of them uh, helped me to really change my business and achieve the results that I wanted. Um, and uh, the moment when I started to succeed is when I started to take advantage of my own uh, superpowers. I learned about what they are. I learned how to implement all this theory about being a generator or a manifesting generator in business. Um, and um, then uh, this is finally when I managed to um, achieve what I wanted. Obviously, I'm still on my journey, but I can see that this is working. So try to understand your design as much as you can. But not only that, try to understand how to apply this knowledge in your business. Uh, follow your own authority. And that masterclass that I've just announced uh, will probably will most likely help you uh, implement this knowledge in your business and in your day to day life. And so my next tip for you generators is uh, to stop being uh, proactive and start to respond to external stimulations instead. So what do I mean by this? When you run a human design report, you will see if you're a generator that uh, it says uh, it, that your strategy is to respond. But one of the most common issues I've noticed among uh, generators and MGs is that simply because they have so much creative energy, they do a lot of things out of their own initiative without responding to any external stimulations. For example, um, uh, you can start creating your offer just because you think it will be successful. You put a lot of content on your Instagram, again, without responding to uh, any external requests or uh, you know, when people are asking for a specific help. So it's just coming from your own mind. It's coming from your own initiative. It's uh, uh, not based on uh, anything that has come to you from your, your external world, uh, not based on a certain trend just because you want to do it. And what you will often notice is that uh, generators are completely depleted. They do so much work. They create a lot of content, uh, amazing offers that don't really get the traction, don't get the uh, 
feedback that they want and if you ask me why this is happening and my on uh, my um uh, i will also have a question to you have you created this in response to something that has come to you from your external um environment uh, have you done your research do you actually know whether someone is uh, whether someone whether your audience needs that uh, again you have probably uh been initiating in your business and not responding again the master class that i've just announced will uh, get into more detail what is initiation how to avoid initiation and how do you make sure that you are responding uh, to uh, your external uh, stimulations instead but for now just uh, stop being uh, proactive and try to run your business more on the uh, reactive side all right uh, my next tip for you is to avoid short-term planning and focus on a big picture uh, one of the biggest messages of human design system is that um, our mind is never our authority, meaning we should never be making a decisions uh, with our mind. But unfortunately, that's where the majority of entrepreneurs are because we are so smart. We think that we know best and uh, what, we, what we do, we try to plan out our strategy. We plan our day-to-day -day life, our, what, what are we going to do uh, in the next couple of days. And when we are doing that, we are almost programming our our ourselves to uh, make decisions with our mind and not with our body because we already know far in advance what's going to happen so in fact you don't really uh, really leave that space um, for your body you don't give it an opportunity to respond what comes to you uh, because you already know that and instead, what I strongly re um, recommend you do, you focus on the big picture. You need to know exactly what is your intention, what you're trying to achieve, but how you're going to achieve that, it's not your mind's business. Uh, the first thing you can do every morning, you wake up and you, um, uh, you kind of pay attention to your authority. What do I feel like doing? What do I want to do now? Is it uh, posting content? Is it working on my offer? Is it client attraction? Um, try to see what, what comes to you from your external reality. What is your body responding to? And try to build your business, your day-to-day -day, and your general lifestyle around those things. I promise this will make a huge difference in your um, life and you will start feeling a lot of satisfaction, which is your purpose. And last but not least, uh, a really good tip for you guys is to avoid multitasking and start focusing on the process and not uh, on the end result. So uh, generators are very powerful due to their powerful sacral, sacral energy center. However, um, do you have a business or are you just busy? I know you can do a lot of things at the same time, but for generators, it is strongly not recommended to pursue uh, a lot of things at the same time. Uh, generators key uh, purpose in, in work in business is to achieve mastery and generators are um linear people they are process oriented people unlike manifesting generators who are non-linear and for them it's actually uh, healthy and recommended to pursue a lot of activities at the same time uh, well for generators it's the opposite and uh, i strongly want to uh, advise you to uh, focus uh, at a maximum three top activities every day and not to spread yourself uh, too thin and uh, a good thing for you could be to identify top um, three revenue generating activities uh, that you want to pursue on a day-to-day -day basis and try to focus just on them uh, also when you're focusing on the process and not the end result uh, you are the most productive you are the most uh, efficient in your business so uh, try to eliminate multitasking from your business and you will see a huge difference all right, to conclude, again, I want to remind you about the masterclass. Uh, check out the link uh, in the description box and I'm looking forward to seeing you um, there. Also, by the way, guys, if you have any specific questions, uh, you will have uh, an opportunity to complete a questionnaire where you can outline your personal challenges and difficulties in business. I will uh, take them into account during the masterclass and I'll try to answer your very uh, specific and personal Personal business related questions. Right, looking forward to seeing you on the masterclass.